Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of different looks from the Friday the 13th, the Camp Crystal Lake palette. And so I thought we'd go ahead and get started. I am using the Super Goop Glow Oil with the SPF uh, 50. So that's what I have on as my base today. I did go ahead and mix a couple of... Um, Let's see, Fair Lady Tutu, or Fair Lady T2, and this one is by Oma Beauty, and uh, this is the Oma by Sharon C, the um, the one that originally went into Walmart. Now you can get it on her website, and then the um, so it's the drugstore version of the Oma line and it's available on the Oma website is what I'm trying to say. The Colourpop Pretty Fresh, this one is in uh, 53 Cool. So um, I did two pumps of this to one pump of this and that's how I got the look that I have going on right now. Let's see, what else did I do? Um, I went ahead and used the Colourpop Stain in Twice Shy. And then I did go ahead and use some of the AOA Diamond Lip Gloss, and this is shade 1112. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the bronzer, I went ahead and did the MAC, and this is the Light Radiant Rosy Bronzer. And I did go ahead and use this Sunset Boulevard by ColourPop as far as the blush itself. Uh, this is one of their cream blushes. Right now they're only available on the ColourPop website. Um, but I'm really liking them. And I think they have a good color payoff. Uh, they hang around. They don't disappear on you. So, yep, really liking that one. Um, I did go ahead and pick up this Pat McGrath palette. It was actually over at uh, TJ Maxx. So it was a score. Find it. And so this is what I have on for highlighter today. This one is actually white with the pink shift. And it's what I have uh, right over here. And then this is white with the gold shift. And it is what I have on over here. So um, yeah. A fun palette. Again, something I didn't expect to find at TJ Maxx. But um, definitely, um, I think usually they say like Wednesdays are the best day to go uh, to TJ Maxx to find stuff. But I don't know. It's probably different per just I would ask them when you're in store when they get their shipments and when the best day to be there is. Um, but the Friday the 13th, the Camp Crystal Lake. I just got this. I had actually waited until Glamlight released all of their... Is it not changing anymore? Yeah, it's a holographic. There we go. So it says Camp Crystal Lake, and then the other one is Friday the 13th. And no, I'm not really a big horror um, movie buff. Um, Sci-fi gets as close to horror as I want to go, so I usually stay there and in the fantasy sort of realm as well. So, uh, yeah, these aren't my favorite uh, genre, or genre, but I'm really liking the palettes from Glamlight right now. Um, all of the horror ones that they've released have been darker. This one actually shows up lighter on camera than it actually really is. Um, but I did go ahead and do an initial video where I did three looks, and I found that that they all were really different from what I thought that they were going to be. So I wanted to come back and do another couple of looks and see what I could uh, find from this particular palette. And looking at this look right here, I started off with this um, burgundy, um, and I actually did that all over the lid. And then I used a little bit of this in the outer corner and this in the outer corner. I actually found that the matte gave me a lot more payoff um, than this really dark shimmer did. And then I went ahead and used this really pretty pink right on the lid itself and the white um, or the silver white on the inner corner. And I did go ahead and use the M-Ride um, eyeliner in blue as well. That's how the look came out. A lot of shimmer. A lot of shimmer. Um, 
a lot of uh, topper in the shimmer. I think it came out really pretty. I would definitely go ahead and wear it. And then the crunchiness, which is over here, um, I went ahead and started with this in the crease. Then I went on the brow bone with this color. I used a little bit of brown on the outer corner. And I did this uh, really pretty. I thought it was more of a brown shimmer, but now that I've seen it on the eye, I think it's more of a gold shimmer with a base of brown. And so it really comes off more golden. And then I did this on the inner corner uh, with a little pop of this on the inner corner as well. And of course, when I first got this palette, my first thought was everything's too dark. I'm going to have to lighten everything up. And I don't think that that's actually the truth with it. Um, it just, it's a matter of getting used to working with the darker colors, I think. Or at least that's my impression as of now. Um, I did go ahead and use a green eyeliner with it from Emrite. And let's see. Let's see if I can actually do that. I'm not used to doing this eye, as you can see. So, yeah. That's the way that the eye look turned out. I think it turned out as a really pretty, grungy kind of, you know, if you're wearing a lot of green or brown, this yeah, this one would be great. And this one kind of kind of hits a little bit pastel, but sort of uh, deepened up with the blue. So you have a little bit of pink and blue going on over there. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking that they're really fun. And I'm really um, liking playing with this palette and being challenged by it. And I just thought that the other ones, the gray, the gray scale was just a little bit too much for me. And I don't necessarily wear uh, that much gray. I do like gray eyeshadow. Um, but as with so many other people, I like to blend it, you know, with a pink or a burgundy or pink and burgundy or a coral or something, you know, that has a lot of color in it. So... <clears throat> I would, um, grayscale palettes I use as additional palettes. I don't use them as, um, you know, uh, I can't get a full look usually from a grayscale, grayscale palette for me anyway. So, um, other than that, I do have again the Oma by Sharon C on, uh, for the brows, uh, in taupe. And then as far as the mascara, um, I was going ahead and uh, I got my Sephora, um, yeah, Sephora favorites. And this, you get the five mini um, eyeshadows or, and then you can go ahead and choose. Um, it has a certificate in it so you can go back and get a full size of one of the mascaras think that that set is really good set. I've really been liking the tartlet. Um, it gives me a lot of length and uh, some curl to my lashes, so I've been really liking that. Other than that, I think that's the look all the way uh, through. Actually, two looks. And like I said, I do have another uh, video on Friday the 13th that has an additional three looks on it. So, uh, yeah. I've been having a really good time playing with this palette, and it's definitely one that I would suggest picking up. And there we go. Now it's doing the, yeah, the holographic thing. Okay. So, um, again, good palette. Glam Light usually does really good palettes. And I think that's about all I have. I hope that you have a great holiday, and I'll see you later. Bye.